Hey y'all, what's up? It's Will, the Deep Sky Dude. I'm back with a really quick video. I wanna challenge you guys to get out and see if you can see this conjunction of Jupiter and the moon. Um, and it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be really cool. You might even be able to see Jupiter in the daytime. So here we go, I've got Sky Safari Pro here loaded up. And you can see over here, if we look at the date and time, this is the 27th of February, which is tomorrow morning. Um, and this is uh, 5.58 a.m. Central Time right here, okay? We're on uh, currently uh, Central Standard Time. And basically what we have here is, you know, the sun is below the horizon, this green line, and everything below in the green represents under the horizon. Everything above is what's visible in the nighttime sky at 5.58 Central Time here in Texas. And if you notice, you see the sun down here. You got Venus up here. Pluto, which is pretty tough to see. Saturn will be visible. And then you've got Jupiter and the moon right here together. So if we go in and zoom in, um, we can get pretty close and notice that they're going to be fairly close. I think in a, in a pair of binoculars, you should be able to look at the moon and then scan right down and find Jupiter pretty easily. I'm not sure if you'll be able to fit them both in there at the same time. But if we come up here to uh, measure from and we click on Jupiter, you can see that right at the closest, it's gonna be a little bit, it's actually gonna be a little bit closer than this. If I, so if I rewind time back, you can see it actually is going further away. And then if I, re, if I push time forward, you can see that it actually gets within about a degree and a half. I mean, almost a half. It's like one, I know that's kind of hard to read there, but it's about one degree 34 uh, seconds. So very, very close. And what's cool is the moon, everybody knows the moon is visible in the daytime, but hardly ever do you get to see a planet or something like that during the daytime, maybe Venus every once in a while. This one's gonna be Jupiter. And uh, if you notice, the sun is now well above the horizon. We're at 9.40 a.m., so about 10 a.m. Central Time. And if you're looking for the UTC, here it is right here, at 3.40 p.m. UTC, okay? So you can use the conversion to figure out UTC where your time zone is. And you can see that even at 10 a.m., the moon and Jupiter are going to be getting kind of low. They're heading towards the west, and so they're, you know, they're going to be getting, after about 10 a.m., it's going to start getting a little harder. So you want to be up in the pre-dawn hours or just after dawn um, and try to do this sometime before maybe 11 a.m. Central Time, just depending on uh, where you guys are at. And you should be able to find the moon. Notice the Terminator here, this line, this dark line that obscures the other side of this, the, the moon that's facing away from the sun. And you follow that terminator down, and if you follow it all the way down, you should be able to find Jupiter and its moons down here just hanging out with the moon. Um, if you get a picture of this, if you're able to do this t uh, tomorrow, send me a shot. I'd love to see it. Send a, send a picture to thedeepskydude at gmail.com, and I'll post it on the Facebook and I give you guys credit. I'm going to try to see this if the sky is clear. Although the weather's been pretty bad here. So good luck, guys. I hope you get to see it. Clear skies, and we'll see you on the next video.